Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I would like to show you how easy it is to mix up your paint with Mixed Media Girl Pouring Medium. So for those who don't know, this is a product that was just released, and I mean, maybe a month ago. It is brand new, so I wanna show you guys how you can use it. Now these are little tube paints, they're dollar roundy. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And I'm using very, very earthy colors for this. So this color is medium yellow, and they're small tubes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour out the entire tube. I'm gonna mix some paint up for now and save some for later. Here we have just plain white. It does not even say if it's titanium white or zinc white or anything else, just white. And these tubes are each 12 milliliters, about a half an ounce. Here we have a dark blue. And I have a yellow ochre. And lastly, a brown. Now my preferred ratio is two thirds of the pouring medium to one third of the paint. So since it's about half an ounce, I'm going to pour about an ounce of the pouring medium in here. Now this is not exact. I am obviously just eyeballing it. You can absolutely use measuring cups if you would like, totally up to you. And if you are using a thicker paint, you might wanna add even a little more pouring medium. If you're using a thinner paint, you may need a little bit less. It also kinda of depends how thick or thin you like your paints to be for pouring. Some artists like thicker paints, some like thinner. So I'm stirring this first one. And you can see that essentially stirred in pretty immediately, very easily, and this is pretty ready to go. Uh, you can add water if you would like, but you shouldn't need to. And thus far, I have not yet had to. If your paints are really, really thick, you might wanna add uh, some water instead of adding more pouring medium. All right, so now that we've got our colors all mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and do a pour. Now, as you can probably see, because I just mixed these, there's a lot of air bubbles in here. I typically like to mix my paints a day before or even hours before to let them kind of settle out. We don't have time for that right now, unfortunately. So we're gonna just go for it. And uh, that should help produce some kind of fun reactions. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. And remember, we've got very, very, very earthy colors here, so I expect this to come out with a lot of brown, and that's okay. I'm thinking with the blue and the yellows that we have in here, we should get some earthy green as well. I'm using a nine by 12 canvas, and so I need a little over six ounces of paint for this sized canvas. And I'm pouring down the side here instead of just right in the middle to hopefully uh, have less air bubbles. All right, there we go. So let's do a tree ring here and we'll see what we end up with. Depending on how it comes out, I may want to wreck the ring. We'll see. I already see some gorgeous green in here. I'm not typically an earthy color kind of girl, but recently I've been doing a lot more of them and very much enjoying it. All right, I think I am going to go ahead and wreck this. So I'm just gonna take a stick and pull it through I love lines, so this is one of my favorite things to do. Hey, see that green there? Super pretty. All right, now we tilt, 
And on tilting, it's just a personal thing. You can tilt it however you want. Run off whatever sides you would like to run off. Keep the sides you want to keep. Sometimes you don't really have much of a choice, but it is what it is. Now, hopefully you can see through the camera here, but I definitely have a lot of those kind of pinhole cells. Um, and that's from all of those air bubbles. So you will not get those if you uh, let your paints sit for a bit. It's another reason to not shake your pre-mixed pouring paints right before using them because you'll get a lot of those pinholes. I'm gonna bring it back this way just a little bit. Center it a little more, and there we go. I think that is gorgeous. Um, I'll let it sit for just a minute. Hopefully some more of those air bubbles pop, and then I will bring you guys in for a close-up. All right, so here is our close-up. I'm super happy with the lines on this. And even though we got some of those kind of pinhole cells, I don't mind it. I think this is super pretty. So there you guys go. A wrecked tree ring with the new mixed media girl pouring medium. Super easy to mix and use. I love it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.